Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to add it uh, HTML table in ASP.NET Core or you can say that in plus editing in ASP.NET Core in plus editing means when we click on the edit button that uh, title field will be uh, added uh, here instead of uh, swapping the page so when we click on the edit button then you will see that your uh, title will uh, change in the input box uh, instead of the label so uh, you can see when we click on the edit button after change uh, in that uh, in the in that um, text and click to edit button update button you will see that your text will be changed and after that we will refresh the categories as well okay so again uh, i will mm, i will show you an example of this line so uh, this is called in plus editing and you can say that edit html table in asp.net core or asp.net mvc and the same thing you can do with that delete button also so when we click on the category and you will see that uh, the fast foo so just click on the edit button and change this update method so here we have and when we click on the refresh button then you will see that your text will be changed right now so uh, that is called in plus editing south india so here we have south indy so here we have and just refresh the items okay so just change again and what uh, what uh, you can say that how should you do this uh, type of things in ESP.NET Core by using jQuery so uh, this is the span tag you can say the uh, ID is the one and two and three this is the table actually and this is the TD and uh, that is the TH that is the TH that is the td 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 and td 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 you can say so uh, this is the for loop for each loop you can say in the td so the first td have uh, the span tag and the item id will be shown but the second uh, td have uh, span tag that is the uh, looking like it label but also when we click on the added button the span tag will move will hide and show the input box you can say that when we click on the edit button so input box will be dis, uh, will be shown but the span tag will be hide okay when we change anything changes that will be query just pass to the just pass to the uh, controller section as a partially by using ajax and after changes when after reflect back to the server and uh, view your data will be changed from the database table and your uh, pages go for the index page so that is the example right here so the first thing in uh, ASP.NET core you can do that is the default category controller and here we have a index method that is the same you can say that just list of the categories context dot categories dot to list and select change this category to the view model that is category view model here we have a id and title and just return to the to list return view list from db so here we have a list from db and just pass to the view that is the index dot css table right here so here we have a index of category view model in the table you can see that uh, here we have a ID that is table category and the th we have model dot display for that is model dot ID and th for model dot title and the next one is th for action that is edit and delete and where we have the style property that is width is 150 in the next section you can say that for each loop for the each uh, row so here we have a tr that is table row in the td that is the first column here we have only one span tag you can say with uh, um, binded with the item dot id 
that is pen tag and the class is category id and class of the category id is associated with each id property like that one two and three each have the same class that is category id you can say that category id but in the second td here we have two things first one is the span tag that is item dot title and the second one is input type equals to text value equals to item dot title and the style display none i mean to say that display property is none i mean to say that that property will uh, that input box will be hide okay the next uh, td is for edit update cancel and delete so if you are not interesting with the delete action method so just removed it but uh, notice that here we have a edit button and javascript that is added but update and cancel are display none by default first of all so when we click on the edit button that javascript will be called so using href okay href colon okay and semicolon okay so when we click on the edit button first time that is body on your body click event handling table category that is the table you can say here we have a table category and inside the table category here we have a class that is edit class so here we have edit class click on the edit button then find first of all this dot this i mean to say that edit row i mean to say that the whole row will be selected so this dot closet tr closet tr i mean to say that so you can say that uh, just go for this when we click on the edit button then first uh, id of that tr that is whole row one and fast food okay and edit and delete also there so when we click on the edit the first tr will be getting okay got okay so the first tr will be got and the row is id is one and uh, uh, in the second uh, table we have a title and the there is the span tag and there is the input box so that is the part of the tr that is the row but the span but the input box is hidden okay so in the td that is the first td you can say that is the first td for the id property first td for the id property here we have check uh, check td inside in the row in the each function in the each row uh, td in the each row so here we have two td uh, three td in the row the first td will be check this that is the for the td find input that is not there because in the td is not input box is there so uh, you can say that input dot length is greater than zero that is false so just move to the next row uh, next td this dot find input yes it is length is greater than zero so here we have a input that is the title so you can say that the in the second td that is the fast food so you can say so this dot find input dot show so input box is shown when we click on the edit button and the span tag will be hide okay now after the each row is iterated the input box is show and the span tag will hide okay so row dot find update dot show okay row dot find that is the same row okay dot find class dot show cancel dot show and delete will be hide and this dot hide this i mean to say that this is for this is a reference for this is meant to say that edit also hide only update and cancel show and input box is shown now the next thing when we click on the update button after changing some value you can say that like here 
after changes this and when we click on the update button you can see that here we have this dot clause at tr i mean to say that that is the tr the whole row where we have a update and cancel uh, button and the input box and one is there so find td in row dot each function this dot find input box dot length is greater than zero so span tag will be there input box is there so here we have a span and input both are there in the second title box in the second one here we have a title and the span tag is both there but the span tag is hidden so uh, span is going to span an input ex in, uh, input box so the value of the input box is uh, passed through the span tag so input dot value in the span dot html okay now the span tag will be show and input box will be hide okay so after changes this and the same thing we can do with row find edit delete and cancel show only cancel will be hide okay also this dot hide i mean to say that update will be hide now the same thing the same uh, function also uh, done this part here we have a category view model that is the object in the jquery in the category view model here we have two parameter id and title id is getting from this uh, the row from uh, getting from the row so parse int row dot find category id that is the title dot find span tag dot html i just i want to get it and the row row dot find category title dot find span tag dot html okay so in the ajax table just type post url that is admin category and edit and data is vm and inside the vm here we have a category view model just pass it to the controller section and the controller section that is added right here in the post section so in the view vm we have a updated value so model state is valid and getting the category id uh, category from the db where is id is the vm dot id and change uh, something and return back to the index page so here we have index page again and you will see that the changes only that thing will be done in the asp.net core and you will see that your changes uh, occur on the same page so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core